In this video, I am going to describe how to do a perfect primary chop in each and every case and the importance of power of visualization. Now, you can attempt primary chop in most grades of the cataract. Of course, grade 2 to grade 4 are the best. Now, before we start, we must understand the, what are the parameters that we are going to set for this. So, I always use high flow rate on panel mode and high vacuum again on panel mode. And I always use longitudinal pulses with 40% on. Why longitudinal? You can watch this video I have put up on YouTube earlier. So, with these parameters, I am going to start. Now, I must visualize before I start from where I am going to bury the tip. So, I am starting from the CCC margin and then going deeper into the central part of the nucleus. So, take that little moment before you start and once you achieve the right depth which is which is guided by the 3D visualization when you are operating, then you can get a perfect chop in almost each and every case. So, just watch that tip going deeper into the nucleus very carefully judge the right depth it has to reach that you know the posterior half of the nucleus so it has to be approximately at the mid of the nucleus before you start attempting the chop so unless you reach that particular spot you should not try attempting primary chop so most important is visualize from where you are going to start how the angle of attack or angle of burring should be so that it reaches the right depth which is the center of the nucleus for that the 3d visualization is very important once you achieve that you will get perfect chop in each and every case do subscribe to my youtube channel and you can also watch primary chop videos from my basic steps playlist thank you